Hello everyone and welcome once again to Caleb Likes Books. I am Caleb and today I'm going to be reviewing the short story collection Cthulhu's Reign um, edited by Daryl Schweitzer. So over the course of the last year or so I have gotten into uh, the work of H.P. Lovecraft, uh, particularly his Cthulhu mythos. Um, and now that I've read quite a decent amount of that I've been interested in checking out some stuff that other authors have written because um, basically all of Lovecraft's work, at least to my knowledge, is in the public domain, and he actually encouraged his, uh, author friends and other authors in general to, uh, take aspects of his work and make their own stories out of them, and so, uh, the Cthulhu Mythos has been greatly expanded on by many, many other authors, and this, um, collection is a result of that. This book basically is a collection of several short stories um, detailing the events after the return of Cthulhu and the Great Old Ones, um, which is kind of covered in Lovecraft's work. It's mainly stuff about humans discovering things about these uh, beings, but it's, uh, I don't believe there's anything that's actually about what happens after they have returned or whatever. So that's basically what this is about, and some of the stories uh, take place as, like, Cthulhu is reawakening, for example, and seeing how humanity responds to that. Other stories take place sometime after and show more of the aftermath, um, and there's a decent variety of stories in here in regards to uh, when they take place. And real quick, I'll also uh, just mention, uh, list off the stories that are in here and who wrote them. So first, there's The Walker in the Cemetery by Ian Watson, uh, Sanctuary by Don Webb, Her Acres of Pastoral Playground by Mike Allen, Spherical Trigonometry by Ken Asimatsu, What Brings the Void by Will Murray, The New Pauline Corpus by Matt Carden, Ghost Dancing by Daryl Schweitzer, who compiled this collection, This Is How the World Ends by John R. Fultz, the Shallows by John Langan, Such Bright and Risen Madness in Our Names by Jay Lake, The Seals of New Earlier by Gregory Frost, The Holocaust of Ecstasy by Brian Stableford, Val uh, Vastation by Laird Barron, Nothing Personal by Richard A. Lipoff, and Remnants by Fred Chappell. So there's quite a decent number of stories in here, and so obviously I did not expect all of them to land. But there's actually a few in here that I absolutely loved, and I wouldn't really say there was more than one or two stories in here that I just outright didn't care for at all. Positive things about this collection, first of all, um, as I said, there were some in here that I did actually really enjoy. Um, for example, I would say some of my favorite ones were The Walker in the Cemetery, uh, Spherical Trigonometry, The New Pauline Corpus, um, and a few others I really enjoyed quite a lot. I really enjoyed kind of the variety of takes on this topic that were covered in this book. Um, the whole, uh, you know, the Cthulhu mythos kind of builds up all of these entities and how, like, terrifying they are and how things could go very badly if they were to return and come to Earth or whatever. Um, and so seeing, uh, different people's takes on what that would actually look like was actually really interesting. I guess I'll talk a little bit about a few of the stories in particular, some of the ones that I thought were particularly notable. Um, the first one, The Walker in the Cemetery, um, I really enjoyed. It's one of the ones that takes place basically as Cthulhu and the Great Old Ones or whoever is returning. Um, and there are uh, multiple Cthulhu's or something. It may be, you know, Cthulhu himself is kind of manifesting himself in multiple smaller, kind of more human-sized versions of himself. I'm not exactly sure, but it's kind of seeing a group of people's response to those events and uh, stuff like that. I thought it was really interesting, although I was not the biggest fan of the ending. Works in the sense of it's very disturbing and like, oh, what's that. Why is that happening? But it wasn't very much fun to read. And I also liked Spherical Trigonometry, which was uh, one about um, uh, people have discovered that the Great Old Ones and all these beings can, uh, for some reason, come through angles, and that's how they, like, uh, enter the world or something, and so they're trying to create basically this bunker where that has no angles whatsoever inside of it. Um, 
so that it is safe and these people are trying to go there and stuff. Um, which is a really bizarre setup, but I actually thought it was an in kind of an interesting story. And then the new Pauline Corpus um, is may possibly be my favorite short story in here. Um, it draws some interesting connections with like the Bible and stuff, and I'm I'm kind of interested in like that more religious side of things sometimes. Uh, things that tackle those sorts of themes kind of interest me. So it was interesting seeing uh, kind of how uh, the whole Cthulhu mythos stuff was connected with that. As far as negatives with this collection, um, I do think there were a few in here that just didn't quite land for me. I enjoyed the majority of them to some degree, but there were a couple that I didn't really love exactly. And another thing that um, is not really a negative because it didn't really bother me, but for some people who are very big Lovecraft fans, and it is something I noticed it may bother um, some people, uh, this didn't really strike me as super Lovecraftian, uh, if that makes sense. To me, like, Lovecraft and his Cthulhu mythos have very strong themes and the way that things kind of are. Um, you know, it's basically based around these beings who are out in space or the universe or whatever, and they are beyond human comprehension. It deals with themes of cosmicism and all this stuff, and I didn't really get that from this collection. It kind of struck me, at least at a lot of points, as more of kind of a more of like just a monster kind of book type of thing. Uh, it wasn't so much dealing with, I think, the themes that Lovecraft put forth um, in the sense of tackling, like, the themes of cosmicism and the whole, you know, beings beyond our comprehension and humanity's uh, small role in the universe in the grand scheme of things and all that kind of stuff that Lovecraft's very well known for. Um, it still was an enjoyable collection despite that, but that is something that I think some more kind of Lovecraft purists perhaps uh, will not be as interested in. But overall, I would say this was a pretty solid collection of short stories. Again, not all of them landed for me, but I did enjoy the majority of the stories that were in here. I'd say I probably like really loved about half of them and the rest ranged from kind of good to just okay. Um, there weren't really any I outright didn't like. Um, it was just some that didn't really grab me all that much. But I did really enjoy, like, at least a solid half of the stories in here I thought were really, really good. Um, so I would definitely recommend uh, picking this up if you're interested in the Cthulhu mythos, in Lovecraft, all that kind of stuff. If you don't think you would be particularly bothered by the lack of really Lovecraftian themes, um, then I think this is a solid recommendation. As far as a rating out of 10, I think I would give Cthulhu's Reign uh, probably an 8 out of 10. Um, which is a pretty decent score, I think, uh, and I think quite a fair one. There were some stories in here that I absolutely loved, uh, and a few that I was not really all that into, but on, as a whole, I really did enjoy this collection. Um, so I think A is a pretty, uh, fair score. But anyways, that is pretty much all I got for this video, so let me know in the comments if you happen to have read this collection, or if you are interested in reading it. And let me know down in the comments below some of your favorite, uh, mythos stories that were not written by Lovecraft. I'd really like to get more into the Cthulhu mythos outside of Lovecraft's own writing. This is actually my first experience with that. I have not read anything by any of his contemporaries or any other more recent authors um, set within the Cthulhu mythos. So if you have any recommendations, leave those in the comments as well. And that's pretty much all I got for you today. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.